Welcome to the overview video for using multi timbral VSTs in Music OS by Open Labs. My name is Nick O'Toole. I am the Director of Artist Relations. This is part of a short series of videos that I'm doing on basic functionality on using Music OS in a live environment. This particular overview is important. I run into this issue quite a bit with multi timbral plugins that there is a common mistake being made in loading a new instance of the plugin every time you want to use a sound from that plugin. Multi timbral VSTs are designed to be used in a different way. This is as opposed to something like FM8 or Atmosphere, um, the predecessor to Omnisphere, uh, Absinthe, you know, VSTs that basically you load it, you get one sound, you play that sound, and if you need more, you load another one. Multi timbral works much different. I'm going to load up in Omnisphere to illustrate the point. This significantly saves on system resources. Basically, I'm going to go to the synth editor. I'm going to choose a sound on channel one of Omnisphere. You'll notice in Omnisphere, there are eight channels that you can have access to. In each channel, you can load a different sound on. You can use them all together in a stack, or you can set up a multi to be used on different songs by just having one instance of the plugin, which is what you want. So I'm going to go to my set list. I have one song. I have an Omnisphere loaded, and I have a patch loaded. Now, for my next song, I may also want to use Omnisphere, but use a different patch. This is where the critical error is made. Most often, I find people going and loading a new instance of Omnisphere. That's not necessary. It's not what you want to do. You want to go to your currently loaded plugins tab. You'll see the Omnisphere instance that you already have loaded in song number one, and you're going to select that. Now, by default, you're going to hear the sound that you selected for song number one. But you want to load a patch onto channel two. So before I do that, I'm going to go to my track menu, track IO properties, and I don't have to change anything except for this option, which is force MIDI output channel. Basically, that means that the MIDI coming out of uh, Music OS is going into the VST is going to arrive on channel two rather than channel one, being routed to Omnisphere. Go back to my synth editor, go to channel two, and I'm going to load a patch one of my favorites, Adagio Espressivo. And now I'm going to be able to play that patch. So I have one instance instance of Omnisphere, and I have two songs using that same instance, but with different patches. I'm going to do it a third time, a little bit faster. Sound browser, currently loaded plugins, Omnisphere, track menu, track IO properties. I want to force out to channel three. I'm going to go back to my synth editor. I'm going to select a sound on channel three. Another one of my favorites. Okay, so now one more application is if I have a song and I want to use two different sounds from that Omnisphere Multi at the same time. I'm going to go to my sound browser, currently loaded plugins, choose the Omnisphere. On track number one, I want to force the MIDI out to channel two. So I have that string sound. Now I'm going to go back to new track, but instead of going back to the sound browser, I'm going to create an empty instrument track. Doesn't have a VST loaded on it, not even the shared instance. Doesn't need to be there. I'm going to go to the track menu, track IO properties. I'm going to buy, uh, take the bypass off, force out to channel 3, to the guitar patch. And now you'll notice that it doesn't know where to route the MIDI. That's fine. I'm going to send it back to Omnisphere that I have loaded. I'm going to hit set. I'm going to turn the monitor on on both. And now I have the layer. Let me turn the strings down a little.
And that's how you use a multi-timbrel in a live setting. This saves on system resources. There's no need to have four Omnisphere loaded uh, when you only need one. Um, when you're building a live show in a set, these things can get pretty heavy. You might have, you know, 50, 60, 100 songs, and you may be using Omnisphere on eight of them. If that's the case, you only need one instance of the plugin. If you exceed that eight, then you want to load a second. I'm going to show you one more time using contact because this works a little bit differently. Go to my sound library, search for contact. I'm going to choose a patch out of LA scoring strings, violin section. Okay. You'll notice on the instrument, it's automatically listening on channel one from the host. That's by default. Now, if I want to layer something and build a multi in contact, basically what I need to do, I'm going to go to load another patch out of the factory library, rather uh, the keys. I'm going to load an electric piano. By default, it'll go to channel two. So I go back to my set list. I go sound browser, currently loaded plugins, contact. I'm going to go to my track menu, track IO properties, and force out to channel two. Now I have the electric piano. So there I have my electric piano. And I basically just accomplished the same thing as I did with Omnisphere. Any multi-timbral plugin is basically used for building multis. And that's what I've done. You can save the multi, and you can save the song, and you can save the song configurations, and you can save tremendously on system resources. This is critical. When you're building a live set, oftentimes you're going to have lots of songs. You're going to want to choose the ones that you want when you want them. And you don't need to bog your system down with unnecessarily loading multiple instances of a VST plugin.